Right then, Sam. I think tonight we have to have a bit of a serious conversation, don't we? Mm -hmm. I, this evening, intend to talk about the YouTuber formerly known as Jim Sterling, now going by the name of Jim Stephanie Sterling. Sterling has been a long-time content creator before YouTube, spent a serious amount of time working on TheEscapist.com. Some of you may also know other people from TheEscapist.com, such as Yancy Crenshaw from Zero Punctuation. Now, recently, the creator known as Sterling had uh, come out as trans. Now, to my mind, nothing wrong with that. I have friends that are trans from both sides. Women who have become men, men who have become women, and at least a couple others who are mid-transition as we speak currently. And for my money, I'm all make your happy happen. If that's who you think you are, then by Jove, you go be the person you need to go and be. However, not everybody shares such an enlightened view, which is a shame, because clearly, us human beings have still got a bit of evolving to do, don't we? Disappointing. But with this disappointment comes an additional element. You see, a long time creator like Jim Stephanie Sterling, they've been at this for a good number of years as an actual proper James Games journalist. I mean, Sterling does the research, Sterling has the knowledge. Sterling has the on-screen joie de vivre, if you will. But, because so many out there are, and it's an ugly word, but it's a true word, transphobic, Sterling has been losing audience ever since a short while ago when um, Sterling decided to actually come out to the world as transgender. Now, for a long time, most everybody that watched those videos knew that uh, then Jim Sterling was a gay man. And as I'm pretty sure I don't have to explain to a lot of you out there in the Zen fam, because I like to think the audience that I've cultivated on this channel and through my other social media efforts do not need to be this have this explained to them, but some people will be new and some people will be stumbling across this for the first time. There is, and I underline this in thick black italic text, nothing wrong with that. Now, there may be those that have a religious conviction that doesn't think that homosexuality is um, how one should live. And I can't tell you to not do that. I'd like to, but that is your life choice and I'm not about to get in the way of that. But I do personally vehemently disagree with it. But you do you. I would just ask that if I'm letting you do you, then you let me do me, and you let Jim slash Jim Stephanie Sterling do her stroke him. You see how this works? It's about give and take. It's about compromise. It's about trying to get on as human beings all stuck together on this rock, trying to make this life work. Now, Sterling has done, well, Sterling work over the years, you know, investigating the antics of Ubisoft. Now, don't get me wrong, 
I love an Ubisoft game. I mean, you only have to look at my trophies to see that. I do like playing Ubisoft games. But it is important to mention that Ubisoft, or rather the Ubisoft higher-ups, uh, Ejo Mo and Blue, have done some questionable things over the years, have they not? I think they have, and other, outf other outlets have reported this, admittedly not so rigorously, but it has been reported. There have been court cases, there have been articles, and it goes beyond just plain crunch. It goes to areas of um, sexual harassment, racism, and generally cultures of uh, inter-workplace bullying. Not cool. And then of course Sterling has also spoken upon some of the scummy behaviour of EA and their absolute unwearing orgasmic joy that they seem to have for microtransactions and all the loveliness that comes with that nonsense. So, as someone that's been out here in the creator space for a very long time. I first discovered Jim. Oh God, when did I discover him? Must have been, God, about 13, 14 years ago. It's when I was on holiday in Australia. So this is obviously before my boy came along. So I've been watching his content for a long time. And I would have to say, that I am saddened by the loss of his subscriber numbers because he's recently dipped below 900,000. Now I know what you're thinking, but Zerblock, you give a, you give an arm and a leg for 900,000 subscribers. And you're probably right. <laughs> but Sterling used to be a good deal higher than that. A good deal higher. Now, admittedly, he was never one of your big beauty pies, you know, but he was a good mid-tier sized content creator. And he had a good deal more than 900,000. But over the last few weeks, since a particular event took place, Sterling's numbers have been steadily dropping. Now, at first the drop was quite precipitous, but uh, it has leveled out and has been you know, a, a shorter drop, but there's still a steady rate to it. And this is not right. If indeed it could be tracked to be the case that both Sterling and personally your boy here's Zenblok think as to why there's been a drop off. You see, it comes down to the fact that that James Stephanie Sterling came out to the world, big wig, in female centred attire, uh, with, I'm not sure if there were boobs that were made from other materials or boobs that were made from Jim Stephanie Sterling herself through. Um, surgical or chemical augmentation and of course wearing a pink leather jacket and of course the big hat but the big hat's been a thing that Sterling has had for a number of years so Sterling comes out to the world and goes look I've lived it long enough I can't do this anymore I am trans that's it deal with it and to me personally, it never touched the sides because as I already said, I have friends who are all across the human rainbow. I've got friends that are gay, I've got friends that are straight. The, but the only, the only thing I don't know, and maybe one of my friends is and they just never said, but I think the only thing I don't have in my life is a furry. I know people that are into all kinds of stuff. And I couldn't give a monkeys because, as I previously stated, you're only in this existence so long. And life, by and large, 
can be a struggle. And, you know, struggle is fine, struggle is good, it's part of what get, develops character. But at some point you just got to make yourself happy. And if you're continually living a lie about your own sense of identity, no one can live like that for very long. At least not without doing themselves serious damage upstairs. So, Sterling came out. And then all of a sudden, the numbers started dropping. And for me personally, I found this to be not only offensive and wrong, but completely mental. And I'll tell you why I found it mental. Because ever since Sterling came out, the content from that channel has skyrocketed because Sterling is able to be whom they believe to be. The level of confidence coming from the ability to be able to stand there on an international platform and go, this is me, deal with it, is wonderful. And I personally doff my cap to you, Sterling. I mean, I am just a simple, average, white bloke. I mean, I'm Scottish. You can't get but whiter. <laughs> okay. But let me break this right down, okay? I'm Scottish. I'm male. I'm heterosexual. I'm a father. I'm a worker slash taxpayer. Okay. I am pretty much the living embodiment of the average white male. You know, I'm pretty sure that counts uh, to some people as me being, I think the word is cis. I don't know. I just try and live my life. I mean, look, I'm, I don't know if you can make it in this lighting here, but I am a properly hairy human. Okay. I'm covered in body hair. I'm a greeny, greeny blue, but basically blue eyed Celt. Okay. <laughs> it's like with a little bit of Irish ancestry. I'm as white as you're gonna get, okay? And even though I'm a metal bloke, and I don't I don't drink, I don't smoke, and I don't like football, I'm basically pretty much just a bloke. And as far as I'm concerned, Sterling, you pal, you are cool with me. You make yourself happy, you make the content how you want to make it, it is your channel. And you've had my subscription for a very long time, and I don't see any reason that you've, in any of the content that you've made up to this point, that would ever make me want to unsubscribe. And to any of my viewers viewing this right now, or anybody that has stumbled across this video, I would say, if you want subscribed, resubscribe. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. That's right, I'm a small time YouTuber, I'm basically a minnow, and I'm asking you to support a far larger YouTuber than myself. And simply because that YouTuber has decided that they wish to live their life as they wish to live it, and no longer live a lie. And if you can't support that, then seriously, you've got to ask yourself, what kind of a human being are you? Now, admittedly, this is a gaming channel. And the only reason I can get away with talking about this within the confines of this channel is that Sterling does games journalism on a platform that talks a lot about gaming. He, is a ga he she, is a gaming journalist. He, she is a gaming content creator. And that's as far as it goes. I am also a YouTube content creator. And I wanted to speak out on this subject and to some small measure lend my support. So, 
find Sterling and give that human your subscribe and uh, don't let those people and those organizations in mainstream media who dislike the idea of transgendered humans have any sway in this matter because there are governmental bodies there are media bodies there are political bodies that do not like the idea that trans people exist like some of them are out there that don't like the idea that gay people exist don't like the idea that black people exist anything like that where they try to separate us where they try to divide us and turn us against each other we have to actually actively resist and turn against we need to embrace each other they are few we are many they do not speak for us they are meant to be there for us we put them there politicians we give them our votes companies we give them our money and our labor you know media companies we give them our money and our viewing time you know we watched our programs you know we are subjected to their adverts or the subscription fees for their services so they are, should be servants to us not us to them and they should not tell us how to think and how to feel put it this way right if you see two little tiny kids, right? Then one kid could be black, one kid could be white, and we've all seen those clips where two little kids, and all they want to do is play with each other because, as far as the other kid knows, hey, there's another kid to play with. Doesn't matter what the colour of the kid is, doesn't matter what if the kid has got two mums or two dads, you know, or is a single parent. All that kid knows is there's another kid to play with. You know, sometimes the wisdom of children is deeper than the wisdom of us so-called adults. Have a bit of childhood wisdom about you, ladies and gentlemen. You know, give Sterling a bit of support. Give him your sub. Give her your sub. Give them your sub. I'm trying really hard here for the pronouns. <laughs> They're, they're admittedly yes, okay, sometimes they probably make content that annoys some people. But that's art. Art is subjective. Okay? I mean, I'll give you an example how subjective art can be. Right? Now, a lot of you out there probably know that I deeply love the band Guar. Okay? I've been into them since I was like about... 16. I've been into them a long time. Put it this way, right? I got into them when I was 16. I'm 46. Okay? A long, long time. Okay? More than half my life I've loved this band. And there was a, f a couple of years there where there was a, a song in theirs that I couldn't listen to because it kind of got under my skin because at that point I was still a fairly new parent and the song was singing particular things to be you know about kids and I couldn't listen to the song as much as I loved the band and then I remembered what Guar is and what Guar does and what Guar stands for and the way that they try to skew existence and basically what Guar's bit is you know what the the gag is and once I got my head around that, I was able to go back to that song and listen to it again, and all the other stuff. Sometimes we take ourselves too seriously. Sometimes we take life too seriously. Sometimes we don't take each other seriously enough. And you know what? There's a high probability that pretty much all of you out there 
have somebody in your life that does not fit in to the social so-called norms in one way or another. You know? For all you know, you know your auntie, you know, could be bi. Your uncle could be into clopping. You know? Your best friend from school could be into BDSM. Anything is possible. Because humans have a multitude of stuff going on up here. It's part of what makes us awesome. But it's also partly what breaks us. Because we try to make sure that the world doesn't find out because not all the world is ready for the kind of information that we all have knocked about in our heads. We all have, or at least a lot of us, have that little part inside that only a select few people know about. And for some people, that select few is just themselves. Imagine having a secret so horrible that you thought it would bring you mental and physical harm from outside sources, never mind yourself. Imagine living with that on a daily basis, all because some people believe that their belief trumps the beliefs of others. There's no way to live life, not for them, not for you, not for me. Let's all be a little less judgmental. Let's just let people be people. And if you can subscribe to Jim, or you can, you know, Jim Stephanie Sterling, whichever you like, whichever you think is appropriate, because I'm not going to tell you how to address that particular human. But uh, but doing so with a bit of dignity would go a long, long way. Okay, this has been a really, really serious video, guys. But I felt I I saw the the saw the Sterling video today about how they've been how they've dropped down to sub nine hundred thousand subs, basically because a telling the truth and b coming out as trans. And I can understand you know people unsubscribing because somebody's found out to be racist or you know be a kitty fiddler you know, or embezzling money, or generally some form of criminality, or said something really abhorrent like, you know, being a Holocaust denier, something like that. Then I can understand people going, I'm unsubscribing from you, click. But when somebody is just trying to be who they are, then that level of unsubscription it doesn't stand, it doesn't pass muster, and it shouldn't. You know, now, admittedly, your click is all your choice. You can watch or not watch whoever you please to watch or not watch. You know, you don't have to listen to Slayer, but you are free to listen to Slayer. You don't have to watch PewDiePie. But you also don't have to watch Pootie Pie. You don't have to play Call of Duty, but you can play Call of Duty. But most importantly of all, of all those choices, if somebody else makes them, then you can't take that choice away from them. Like me, I don't like Fortnite. It just doesn't do it for me. You've never seen Fortnite stuff on this channel. But I have never come out and said Fortnite is the biggest pile of geek on the planet and I don't think it should exist and I don't think anybody should ever play it ever. You've never seen me do that and you never will. Because I have for the longest time, just within the gaming scene alone, I have come out and I've said you make your happy happen. You like PC, you like PC. You like Xbox, you like Xbox. If you like Nintendo, you like Nintendo. If you love Sony, you love Sony. Now, you all know I am primarily a Sony guy, but I've never made a video 
trashing Xbox just because I'm not an Xbox guy. In fact, you have over the years, and you can go back through the annals of the channel, there's been a few times where Sony has made a really bonehead move and I've come out and I have admonished them for it. And I'm a Sony buy. I'm a Sony guy, big time. Now, I'm not a fan boy because I'm able to actually see when the company commits to stupid and I will call out that stupid. So that's how I call myself a fan and not a fan boy. And other YouTubers have recognised this, such as Big Kuna and Wingy Gaming. And, um, I think I even had such remarks also said to me by uh, Foxy Games UK. Hey Foxy, for watching. You're doing killer content right now, brother. Uh, but yeah, I think I, I'm going to start repeating myself if I continue on. But suffice to say, just let people be happy and don't like make your happiness part of other people's unhappiness let's just try to get through this life without being horrible to each other and when there's on a cherry on that cake is if we can kick all this sort of console war nonsense and stick that in the bin that'd be good no okay guys i'm gonna love you and leave you I'm sorry I preached it a bit the night, but I really just wanted to say this stuff. Anyway, you know the drill. Hashtag support Scottish YouTubers. And of course, as always, I. Nay bother.